Coming up on Mountain News this morning, Governor Bashir is warning people to stay prepared during this round of storms. And one group is recognizing efforts to work on drinkable tap water in the Commonwealth. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News this morning. Good morning, I'm Madison Carmouche. We are coming up on 5 a.m. on May 8th already. Now today is a first alert weather day, so let's send it over to meteorologist Tim Drawbridge for a look at your forecast this morning. First alert weather day, that is for sure, Madison. If you recall yesterday morning at this time, I was mentioning the fact that I was more concerned about tonight versus yesterday and those concerns still prevail. Let's go ahead and check out what we got going on. Again, an enhanced level three outlook by the Storm Prediction Center for all of Eastern and Southern Kentucky. Really no changes there from what Cam told you late last night. We do have the flash flood watch now in effect until tomorrow morning. So it's a damaging thunderstorm wind gust potential. It is a flash flood potential and everything pretty much will start kicking off or evolving late this afternoon and into this evening. More most volatile time frame I think right now is basically between six and 10 o'clock tonight. And again, all modes of severe weather on the table. 70 outside our door here at WYMT and somewhat of a sultry spring feel to the air this morning. Here is the pinpoint Doppler radar showing this weakening line as it's been coming from the 64 corridor closer to the Mountain Parkway. As we head through time for today, we'll forecast a high of 85 in hazard. More about the first alert seven day forecast in just a few moments. Madison. All right, Tim, thank you. State leaders are asking you to stay safe with more storms on the way. They ask you to have a plan in place to get to a shelter or know where to go in your home. They also ask if you have a weather radio to have it alert you to changing conditions. You're also encouraged to stay off the roads during the severe weather. Governor Bashir says Kentucky is ready to respond to weather emergencies. We've activated our emergency operations center. Uh, we have all the different cabinets and groups that come in. We will be ready to go. State leaders ask that if you find yourself on a road, do not drive through high waters or over down power lines. You should also slow down during high winds. Kentuckians are preparing to head to the polls for the May primary. There are races on the ballot besides the presidential race. Kentucky's six U.S. House of Representatives seats are up for grabs this year. All 100 seats in the state House of Representatives will also be on the ballot and residents in odd numbered Senate districts will be able to vote for their preferred state Senate candidate. Kentucky's primary will take place on May 21st. The Foundation for Appalachia, Kentucky is continuing to make plans for a boys and girls club in Perry County. The nonprofit has been working for the past six months to secure funding for the project. Community engagement officer Zach Hall says the club is something community members have been asking for. Hall says they are working to find a director and hope to open the club soon. We'll uh, do interviews and, and hire that director position. Uh, probably sometime in June um, and then we'll work over the summer to um, you know finalize our location plans and, and do any work that needs to be done before the start of the school year and we, and we hope to, to be off the ground and running by August. Hall says they have not yet determined where the club would meet. This year marked the 52nd WSGS Senior Citizen Radio Day in Hazard. Senior Citizens Radio Day is a fundraiser for the elderly of Hazard, Perry County. Director of Hazard, Perry County Senior Citizens, Renee Baker, had her first experience with Radio Day and says her favorite part is the opportunity to hear stories from others. Talking about the seniors and talking about all the stuff that's around here that helps the seniors because they need all the help that they can get. This year's Radio Day raised $13,000. Kentucky American Water Representatives are using this week to recognize the efforts made by many to ensure people have good quality water coming out of their tap. 
Representatives say they serve about half a million people in portions of 14 counties, including two counties in our area, Jackson and Rock Castle. They say this week they're highlighting the importance of safe drinking water and the 50th anniversary of the Safe Drinking Water Act. And that was really landmark legislation that established standards that all water utilities must follow in order to deliver safe drinking water to the public. Susan Lancho with Kentucky American Water says the U.S. EPA is always looking at emerging contaminants that may come down the pipe in the future. She says their team tests the water in their treatment plants 24-7. Thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. When we return, a record number of Americans will turn 65 this year, and many are ready to retire. In the meantime, weather-wise, we know it's going to be an active day and an enhanced risk for all of eastern and southern Kentucky. A level 4 moderate risk of severe weather out to the west. All the details with your first alert 7-day forecast coming up right after this.